Hello there explorers and welcome to a Bugman's life. It's really good to see you guys. Today we'll be taking a look at mimicry, what it exactly is and a few very interesting examples. The simplest definition of mimicry is when an animal or a plant pretends to be something that it is not. For example, when a moth pretends to be an owl to scare off a pretense or predator. You see, in mimicry, there are always two species involved. The first one is the model, the authentic, or the real McCoy, like we'll say in South Africa. The second one is the mimic, the fake, or the imposter. The way to differentiate between the model and the mimic is quite simple. You see, the model must always be more abundant than the mimic for mimicry to actually be effective for the mimic to use. With mimicry, there are three different types. The first one is defensive mimicry. Secondly, there is aggressive mimicry. And then the last one is reproductive mimicry. There are three different types of defensive mimicry. The first one is Batesian mimicry, when a harmless mimic pretends to be a harmful model. The second one is Malarian mimicry, when two harmful species look very similar. And the last one is very rare. This is Martesian mimicry, where a deadly species mimics a less deadly and very good lesson teaching model. Aggressive mimicry can be divided into two general subcategories. The first one is predatory mimicry, where the predator pretends to be the prey. Imagine the wolf in the sheepskin example. We'll look at a very good one in just a moment. The second one is parasitic mimicry, where a parasite pretends to be its prey. There's very good examples of this in the ant kingdom, from butterflies to beetles that predate on ant larvae. The last type of mimicry, reproductive mimicry, is quite simple, but more complex than the others. This is where one species mimics another species' reproduction to its own benefit and to the loss of the model. Our first example is of Batesian mimicry, and this is a defenseless, first instar praying mantis nymph that is mimicking a very defensive ant species. This small reduvid bug is mimicking a velvet ant or a mutilid. And a mutilid is notoriously known for its very powerful sting. Everything knows to leave a mutilid alone. And that is why this is a perfect Batesian mimicry example. Here's another example of an ant mimicking stink bug, Batesian mimicry. If you think that this is an ant, you're mistaken. It is a mimic of the shiny sugar ant, and it comes from the genus Myrmarachni, or better known as the ant mimicking jumping spiders. And this species will devour an ant, making it an aggressive predatory mimic. And that concludes our quick look at mimicry. In the future, we'll be looking at more examples of mimicry as I come across them. So, what's your favorite type of mimicry? Please leave it down in the comments below and then we can discuss it a bit. Remember to like this video and then remember to explore, discover and share. Then I will see you explorers next time.